Lift up your hand and I appreciate God. Lift up your hand and bless His holy name. For our Lord is good, for His mercy endure forever. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for this wonderful moment. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you for another beautiful month, the month of October. Thank you for declaring this month as our month of joy. That the month which each and every one of us that we are going to have joy. Lord, as we come again, according to your mandate, that the very first three days of the month, we should wait upon you in fasting and prayer, and we should come together every day for the first three days of the month with communion. We have come again, O Lord, today for communion service. I shall be fruitful. I shall be fruitful. Lord, I decree and I declare, let heaven open upon us in the name of Jesus, heavens of mercy, heavens of favor, Heavens of testimony, Lord, heavens of fruitfulness, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. My Lord, arise in your power. Today, visit each and every one of, every one of us. Let, com let covenant of fruitfulness be activated in our life today in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that the enemy is holding on to, whatever it is that the devil is using against us, against our fruitfulness, Father, have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Forgive each, each and every one of us. Let your mercy speak. Today, by the covenant of mercy, any medical diagnosis, any negative medical record, any clinical report that is against our fruitfulness, today, Holy Spirit, we lift them over unto you. Take over in the name of Jesus. Father, you said this month is our month of joy. As many that are online right now, as many that are joining us on Instagram, as many that are listening to this audio podcast, I declare and I declare, Father, let there be testimony in the name of Jesus. Let joy come forth into their home, into their life, into their marriage in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take over. Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, for those of us who are joining us for the very first time, my name is Ari Ola Orelua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Pray Nigus Network. Pray Nigus Network is an online prayer ministry where we gather together in the place of prayer. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. And I know, as you join us today, your testimony will speak volume in the name of Jesus. Every first three days of the month, every first three days of the month, on the first, on the second, on the third, we wait upon the Lord in the place of fasting and prayer. Amen. And we break, we take communion. Communion for fruitfulness. Communion for fru fruitfulness. As you see, the blood of Jesus Christ is already and uh, the flesh is ready. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I just want to appreciate God for what God is doing through this ministry. Amen. Some about two or three days ago, I keep hearing testimony, testimony, testimony. If not because the Lord has declared this month of October as our month of uh, joy. Since the beginning of this month, I will have been tempted, amen, to declare this month as our month of testimony. But the Lord said in December and the last year, he said he gave us the theme for each month. And for this month of October, he said it's going to be month of joy. So about two or three days ago, I was just hearing tes uh, testimony, testimony. And to God be the glory. Today, the very first of, the, of October, the first of October, Amen. Within the past uh, few hours now, testimony are just coming in. It's like a tap was open. Amen. Hear me. If you have not received your own testimony, I want you to be at a lot. Amen. Amen. You will testify in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
because we are still coming back this night for the weekly feature and the last day of our online deliverance session, amen, 11.30 p.m. tonight. So I won't take much of our time. We give us a scripture, one or two scripture, amen. We take the communion and uh, we pray some prayer and we come back in the night for the watch uh, night, amen. Genesis 1:28. Genesis 1. Let's take this scripture down. Genesis 1, verse 28. Genesis 1, 28. Genesis 9, verse 1 and verse 7. Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 and verse 7. And Psalm 127, verse 30. I take them again. Genesis 1, verse 28. Genesis 9, verse 1, verse 7, Psalm 127, verse 3. Psalm 127, verse 3. Let's look at the three scriptures. Genesis 1, verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the heart, and subdue it, and have dominion over the flesh of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So the, the, the prophecy, the word of God concerning you, sir, concerning you, man, concerning those of you that are watching via Instagram, concerning those of you in the church right now, concerning those of you who are believing God for fruit of the womb, amen, that you are listening to this audio message, the word of God for you is saying, in, is, will be found in Genesis 1, 20, it says, God bless you. And what was the blessing? God said unto you, be fruitful and multiply. That is the word of God. God is saying, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. After God created Adam and Eve, when you move down to Genesis 8, the Bible said God destroyed the whole world. Noah and his family were the only one that were left behind. So the whole world now started from the head of Noah. So somebody may say, eh, all right, the blessing of God upon Abraham, upon um, Adam, at the, at the time of the flood, that the flood destroyed everything. Follow me to Genesis 9, verse 1 and verse 7. Genesis 9, verse 1 and verse 7. You and I, we are all descendants of O. Of Noah. Each and every one of us. We are all descendants of Noah. And in Genesis 9, verse 1, verse 7, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Praise the Lord. And God, Genesis 9, verse 1, after the blessing of um, the blessing of God, the blessing of fruitfulness upon Adam was destroyed by the flood. The next man that God raised to replenish the earth in which you and I, we came out from, the man was Noah. So in Genesis 9, verse 1, God, the same blessing, and God blessed Noah and his sons, and God said unto them, be fruitful, man, multiply, and replenish the earth. You see the same statement again. And when you move down to verse 7 of that Genesis uh, 9, verse 7, and you, you that you are listening to me, you that you are watching right now, and you, be ye fruitful and multiply, and bring forth abundantly on the heart, and multiply therein. This is the word of God. This is the revelational word of God concerning you. So any other word, any other statement, any other medical report, report, any other medical diagnosis, any clinical report that is against this, what will happen to it? It will not stand. Why? Because the Bible says we see that said a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord God has not commanded it. The word of God concerning you is say, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. And by the blood of Jesus, that is what we have come to do. 
That is what we have come to, to activate. Is there any cause? Is there any decree? Is there any satanic manipulation? Or is there any clinical re report that is saying you will not be fruitful? Hear me and hear me very well. We stand upon the word of God. We say, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. And that is the only word that will stand for you. If you receive it, why not just lift up your hand and say, I claim it. Say, I receive it. I did not hear you. Say, I receive it. As you have received it, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Psalm 127, verse 3. Psalm 127, verse 3. Psalm 127, verse 3. Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord. You must inherit something from your father. So if God is your father, so the Bible is not saying, children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. The fruit of the womb is the reward of God for you. The fruit of the womb. You, that woman that you are online right now on the church, the blessing of God, the reward of God for you is what? The fruit of the womb, not fibroid, not ovariasis, not barrenness, not delay. What is it? Let's look at it. The Bible says the reward of God for you is what? The fruit of the womb, the fruit of the womb. Again, that is what we have come to bring to remembrance of God. The Father, you said that because I'm your child, my reward is fruit of the womb. So I have come today with the blood of Jesus to activate it, to activate it, to activate it, to activate it, to activate it. So the communion you are taking today is communion to activate the blessing of God upon your womb. The blessing of fruitfulness. The blessing of fruitfulness. The blessing of the fruit of the womb. So as we are going to take the communion today, I decree and I declare that the blood of Jesus, the blood of the new covenant, will activate your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. It shall activate your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. So lift up your communion. Lift it up. Father, I want to say thank you for this hour. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise for today's communion. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for each and every one of us. Father, I want to say thank you for all your children that are listening to me, that are watching all over the world. Your word made me to know. Your word makes each and every one of us to know that you bless them and you ask them to go forth and be fruitful and multiply. And in Psalm 127, verse 3, you said children are the heritage, are your heritage. You give it to those that you want. You give it to those that you like. And you now say, the fruit of the womb is your reward. Because you are your, we are your children, our reward is the fruit of the womb. Lord, this is what we have come today with the, to do today with the blood of Jesus. As we lift up the blood of Jesus, Lord, we activate it. The covenant of fruitfulness, your blessing upon your children, the blessing of fruitfulness, we activate it by the blood of Jesus. As your children take this communion today, I decree and I declare upon them, Lord, bless that womb in the name of Jesus. The blessing of God, your blessing, your reward for the fruitfulness, let it come upon them in the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus' name we have decree. You are not going to, you take the flesh, you break it into two, you eat, and take the blood. As you are drinking the blood, you begin to prophesy unto yourself that in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I activate covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Do you hear me? As you are drinking that blood, the blood of the New Testament, you begin to say, by the blood of Jesus, I activate the covenant of fruitfulness upon my life in the name of Jesus. So drink and begin to prophesy upon your life. Thank you, Jesus. 
Let me give you some meaning to pray that prayer. I want you to decree and declare upon yourself. Decree and declare that, Father, today by the blood of Jesus, I activate covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I activate covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Say, I activate covenant of fruitfulness upon my life, upon my marriage, upon my business, upon my career. Say, I activate by the blood of Jesus. Covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Begin to decree and declare. Begin to decree and declare your covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare your covenant of fruitfulness. Say I decree and declare. Say I activate my covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I activate by the blood of Jesus my covenant of fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, say by the blood of Jesus, I activate covenant of fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, covenant of fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, covenant of fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, covenant of fruitfulness. Begin to activate it with the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, begin to activate it. Your covenant of fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, your covenant of fruitfulness. Activate it by the blood of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus, I activate. Covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I activate covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I activate covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I activate covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I activate covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Begin to activate it. Your covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Activate it. Your covenant of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up a hand and begin to receive it now. Say in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I receive fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I receive my fruitfulness. I receive the blessing of the womb. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hand and begin to receive it. In the name of Jesus, say by the blood of Jesus, I receive the blessing to be fruitful. Blessing of fruitfulness, I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it 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 in the name of Jesus. Begin to receive it. Your cup, your blessing of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Jesus' name we have decreed. The last prayer for tonight. Psalm 138, verse 8. Psalm 138, verse 8. Please open your Bible to Psalm 138, verse 8. Thank you, Jesus. Are you there? Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 130 verse 8 says, The Lord shall perfect that which concern me, for his mercy endure forever. The Lord shall perfect that which concern me, for his mercy endure forever. And I say, Forsake not the work of your hand. So you are going to declare and declare, say, oh Lord my God, by the blood of Jesus, perfect that which concerns my fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Say, by the blood of Jesus, oh Lord my God, perfect that which concerns my fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare, let the Lord God perfect that which concerns your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord my God, by the blood of Jesus, perfect that which concerns my fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Let my womb be perfect. Perfect it, O Lord, my fruitfulness, my fruitfulness. Let that be perfection. Let that be perfection. Let that be perfection. By the blood of Jesus, if you are having health issue, if as a result of that health, health, health issue, you are still waiting, say, O oh Lord, my God, perfect my healing in the name of Jesus. Perfect my healing. Let that be perfection concerning my healing. Let that be perfection concerning my healing. Let that be perfection. Let that be perfection. Let that be perfection. Let that be perfection. Ask the Lord God to perfect your healing in the name of Jesus. Now begin to decree and declare. Say concerning my hormones. So concerning my hormones. Concerning my body. Concerning my blood. Concerning my fruitfulness. Concerning my reproductive system. So Lord my God, perfect them. In the name of Jesus, every woman lay hand on your womb and begin to declare and declare. Say concerning my reproductive organs, say Father, perfect them. 
In the name of Jesus, let there be perfection. Let there be perfection. Let there be perfection. Let there be perfection. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have decree. I decree, I declare upon each and every one of you that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord will perfect that which concerns you in the name of Jesus, your health issue, your hormones, your reproductive organs. The Lord will perfect everything in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of communion, by the blood of the New Testament, we activate covenant of fruitfulness over your life, over your marriage, over your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have decreed. As we have decreed, so shall he be. The Lord will hear you. The Lord will answer you. This month of October has been declared as the month of joy. Concerning your fruitfulness, you will receive joy in the name of Jesus. I say concerning your fruitfulness, you will testify in the name of Jesus. The name of our Lord, our God, shall be glorified in your life. Concerning your fruitfulness, I say the name of our Lord God will be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, the Lord bless each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Today is day one. Let's not forget tomorrow, day two, we shall be coming for the second day. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. If you have any inquiry, if you have any question, please forward it to plus 234-80-62-68-62-55. Any question, any inquiry about this ministry, write plus 234-80-62-68-62-55. And my own name is Areola. Oreolua, I'm the prayer coordinator of this online praying ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Let's not forget, by the grace of God, tonight we'll be having our weekly Fiji time. is 11.30 p.m. on conference call app. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Say, I hear your testimony. Go forth and be fruitful. Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Lift your hands, everybody, say, just breathe your nose.